Well, I want to thank uh, everyone uh, for coming. I'm State Senator Jeff Klein, and I'm uh, proud to be joined uh, by my colleagues in government today, uh, Senator Diane Savino uh, from uh, Brooklyn and Staten Island, Senator Valeski uh, from Central New York, uh, Senator Malcolm Smith, the Vice Chair of the uh, Finance Committee uh, from Queens. Uh, it's uh, truly a pleasure to be here today, and we're here uh, with a very uh, important uh, issue, releasing a new report, which is very timely, uh, as we uh, sort of enter into our budget process. Uh, clearly, over the uh, last uh, several years, uh, we've raised the issue of uh, risk management uh, in New York. And uh, clearly, uh, over the last two years, we've seen our state and our cities uh, have been forced to spend billions of dollars on disaster recovery. Uh, the first step, I think, in learning from that uh, is preparing and sort of learning from our shortcomings. Uh, that's something that's very, very important because uh, one of the things uh, that New York unfortunately fails to do uh, is adequately prepare. Uh, I think we need to really follow the examples of uh, other states like Texas and California, uh, which have effectively uh, dealt with risk management. Uh, so when emergency situations occur, uh, when uh, workmen's compensation uh, payouts increase, uh, when insurance claims against the state of New York spiral out of control, uh, there's somebody in charge uh, to make sure we can learn uh, and do a better job and, in essence, save the taxpayers' money. Our report today also shows uh, that we're in no better shape when it comes to mitigating liabilities. Uh, in the past two years, New York has already paid out more than $200 million, which is a 52% increase since 2011. Uh, so since we released our last report on risk management, uh, we have still see the taxpayers uh, being that was looking at these payouts of over $200 million uh, in the state of New York. Uh, I think it's important that we uh, do this and do this quickly. Uh, and this is uh, one of those issues uh, that if we actually uh, take care of it, uh, it'll pay for itself. So if we establish a risk management office uh, within the state of New York, uh, clearly the money that would be saved uh, would not be any uh, additional financial consequences. So I think simply put, uh, risk management, I believe, is a proactive, sensible, and forward-thinking approach uh, to governing uh, that can protect New York from potential negative effects or losses. Uh, in the early 2011, the IDC, as I said, released a report uh, detailing how an Office of Risk Management would work. Uh, I think right now, uh, with uh, $50 million, uh, I think is a very, very low estimate on what we can actually save, uh, resulting in over $150 million in savings uh, over a three-year period uh, by establishing an Office of Risk Management. So I want to let uh, my other colleagues sort of outline uh, the additional points uh, of our proposal, uh, but I'm also hopeful uh, that uh, besides passing this as a standalone bill, uh, we can have this as part of the upcoming budget, uh, because as we're going to outline, uh, there are cost savings attached. Uh, next up, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, my uh, colleague in government, the Vice Chair of the Finance Committee, Senator Malcolm Smith. Thank you very much, Senator Klein, and uh, to my colleagues who are, are here today. Uh, the IDC Independent Democratic Conference obviously has uh, continually taken the lead on what I consider to be uh, cutting-edge 21st century solutions to challenges that we have in the state. Uh, here we are now in the 21st century, 21st century challenges, and we need 21st century solutions. Obviously, the risk management uh, department that the IDC is putting forward today is just one of those. Uh, as we toured this area as co-chair of the Sandy Task Force uh, for Recovery, uh, we recognized that there were a number of, of circumstances that we came across that had we had a mis risk management office, we would mitigate a lot of the challenges uh, that came forward. Senator Klein outlined some of them in terms of claims, working comp, uh, in rebuilding homes as well, but there's no question about it. Given the status of things that we are at today, we need a risk management office. Florida, California, I think New York is one of the few states that does not have a risk management assessment office. It yields savings that will cost, uh, that will mitigate the cost to run it. But the savings itself will assist us in is financing the operations of the risk management office. It pays for itself. It simply pays for itself, but more importantly, it's exactly what it says, assessment for risk management. It's a very common sense approach 
to a very challenging 21st century problem that we have. We know, especially given in this fiscal climate that we're in, it's very uncertain. We've got to make sure that we do things that are going to allow us to provide resources to not only to our state, but also to provide services to the citizens of the state. What the IDC's report is coming forth today is something that we should embrace immediately. Uh, it is my hope, uh, as, vi as Vice Chair of Finance, work with my colleagues in the Senate, that we will take this common sense approach and get it solved. 21st century challenges require 21st century solutions. This is a common sense solution. And I applaud our leader, Senator Klein, who has continually uh, brought forth initiatives that makes common sense uh, to the people of the state of New York. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. Uh, next up, I'd like to introduce uh, a very special guest, uh, someone who I've had the privilege of uh, working with over the last several years. And uh, I think this sort of proves uh, that state government can still uh, really learn uh, from their local partners uh, because uh, the uh, Albany County uh, presently has an Office of Risk Management. I'd like to introduce the county executive, uh, Dan McCoy. Thank you, Senator. Appreciate it. Senator Klein, Senators, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Being a county executive, the biggest complaint we always say is unfunded mandates. And I have to applaud you, your leadership and your caucus here because this does help us. This gives us a partnership with when someone can come in and say, hey, look, use our resources. We're right up the street from you. So it will have a great in influence on us here in Albany County because now I can go to OGS and continue that partnership through this legislation to get more help and have them come down and say, hey, look, this is your insurance risk, this is your bills, this is what's going on, and Senator Smith said it correctly. 21st century, we need 21st results. And this will give me the tools to make it happen, to give relief to the taxpayers, which I always desperately ask for. And I have to thank your leadership and your Senate conference for making this happen. And uh, I look forward to supporting it as county executive, so thank you. Uh, next up, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Marilyn Rivers uh, of the uh, City of Saratoga. She's the Director of uh, Risk and Safety. Uh, again, another locality that, that's taking the lead on risk management. Has they, break risk management there. <laughs> Has they break down all the signs? We averted a risk. Um, my name is Marilyn Rivers. I serve as a Director of Risk and Safety for the City of Saratoga Springs. I am also here on behalf of the Risk and Insurance Management Society and the Public Risk Management Association, all of which are very pleased to be here to support Senator Klein and his continued efforts for cost efficiencies and for um, comprehensive risk management uh, mitigation strategies across the stratus of the uh, state government. Risk management in the city of Saratoga Springs started in 2003. Senator Klein has asked me to try and give you an idea as to how successful a risk management program can be when we capitalize on issues. We don't call them problems. We call them opportunities for improvement. It's a strategic risk management tool to allow um, communities to reduce insurance costs and leave more money in the budget for federal and state mandates. In Saratoga Springs, since 2003, we have reduced our insurance and claims costs at least 25%. That includes property and casualty and workers' compensation. It is a partnership with our state and our county and our local, but also our national partners across the country. We're very pleased uh, to support 2326, and we're here to um, work with the government, uh, both at a local and at a state level. And again, we're very appreciative of the Senate and all that it is doing for we as taxpayers on a local and a state level. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we also uh, have with us uh, Senator uh, David uh, Carlucci, uh, who represents uh, Rockland and Westchester counties. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Senator, and thank you to my colleagues and partners in government. Uh, in a time where we have so many budget constraints, we have to use the tools available to us to cut costs, to be able to put money back in the taxpayer's pocket. So this is an important tool. This plan laid out will be able to save taxpayer dollars, and not only that, but avoid risk and really improve the quality of life of New Yorkers around this state. Uh, by doing that, we'll be able to avoid just lawsuit after lawsuit. We'll be able to avoid injury around this state. 
So this report that was done in 2011, I look forward to it be implementing, implementing it this year. And with this legislation, we'll save money and be able to put that money back in the taxpayers' pockets. So thank you, Senator Klein, and thank you to my colleagues in the Senate for pushing this very important issue. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I also want to call up uh, Steve Aquario, who's the Executive Director for the New York State Association of Counties. Senator Klein, uh, on behalf of New York's county governments, I'd like to add our support and appreciation to you and the members of the State Senate that are with us here today uh, to advance this important legislation. Uh, it's, it's this simple. Senator, those of you that are with us, we need to protect the public assets. The people's assets need to be protect protected. This legislation does that. For decades, the Association of Counties has worked on risk management issues. This legislation furthers that cause of protecting the assets, looking at tort claims and the court of claims, looking at workers' compensation inju uh, injuries, and trying to develop data-driven solutions to provide uh, solutions to injuries. What is driving the cost and trying to provide programs and services to reduce taxpayer-funded programs? So, Senator, thank you very much. We appreciate your legislation, and we look forward to working uh, to get this passed in the New York State Legislature. Thank you. Uh, thank you all very, very much uh, for coming. I know we also have uh, Sharon, uh, Sharon Kellner, uh, who's the Deputy Director of Risk Management uh, for the City of Saratoga. I thank you for coming, and we'd all ha be happy to answer any questions. Uh, Senator, you introduced this uh, proposal in, in 2011. What makes this uh, year different for something like this to get created, and how precisely would it relate back to planning for future storms like, like Hurricane Sandy? Sure, very good question. Uh, well, first off, uh, we did uh, unveil this back in 2011, and as I said, to, since then, uh, we still uh, saw our claims uh, go up 54% in the state of New York uh, to the tune of $200 million. Uh, we thought it was even more important uh, in light of uh, the recent uh, storms uh, that unfortunately seem to uh, come with greater frequency uh, that we now start using uh, risk management uh, to prepare better for future storms. Uh, clearly, you know, uh, what Governor Cuomo unveiled recently of uh, purchasing properties uh, in areas that have, uh, you know, that are, you know, clearly constantly being flooded, uh, is one example of risk management. Uh, but I think we can do a lot more. Uh, we can uh, handle things a lot better as far as uh, building smarter, uh, so we don't always have to fix properties uh, when they're damaged during another storm. So I think it's important, even more important now, uh, that the office of risk management, if it's established, uh, deal uh, with storm-related damages also, so we can actually plan better uh, and thus save the taxpayers in the state more money. Anybody else? Anybody else? Any other questions? Well, I guess I can do that after, but yeah, I'm... Thank you all very much. Thank you.